Good evening, everybody. Let me just uh, cool down a bit. Ooh-wee. <laughs> Today <laughs> has been wild. There has been <clears throat> curveball after curveball after curveball after curveball <laughs> to get this going. And it's it's pretty wild to think about. I should I should write a whole story on how it all unfolded. Um, oh, hang on. I gotta change one more thing. One more thing so I can see your messages. Okay, let's see. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm happy to be here. I almost, almost had to cancel again because, so I live out pretty far away from civilization and we experience another power outage and the power has been out since two o'clock and it came back like 30 minutes ago. So I, I don't think the bulbs are gonna last again. I, I was uh, was getting ahead of the game with them, but um, they just might not last. So the power came back just in the nick of time. Didn't have to cancel. Thank goodness. I was so worried about that. And um, yeah, I'm here now. And we're here. And I'm so happy to be here. And I would love, you know, I've just been running. And I would love to just take a minute for all of us to just quiet our minds, get in that mental space, and just take a deep breath and center and ground ourselves into this experience. So if you would all join me, I'll use the root bowl and <clears throat> the gong. So we'll take a nice deep breath in together. And exhale. That's good. That's really good. That's what I needed. Grounded and present. And time to say hi to everybody. Guys, Renee, welcome to the party. Banana bread, thank you for your love for my setup. Robbie Jean, good evening to you. Haven Podcaster, grand evening to you. Lakeside Laura, coming through. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for being here. Um, Mer family, I'm so happy you're here as well. Thank you for being here. And hang on, we got someone at the door. I think you. I think you're gonna know who he is. Who is it? Oh well, look who it is. You came just in the nick of time, buddy. I was wondering where you were. Everybody was wondering where Perseus was. Everybody was wondering where you were. Where have you been, young man? Where have you been? He shows up fashionably late. What a guy. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody. Perseus has arrived. <laughs> my big kitty. Um, excuse me if I'm wiping my sweat off, too, because it is it becomes a sauna up here on top of my running. You know, I just, I just uh, get a little bit sweaty. MW, welcome. Joy or Reiki, welcome. You will see, welcome. Perseus, everybody says hi. Everybody's so happy you showed up. <laughs> Everybody's so happy you're here, my buddy. Um, Anna Anderson, thank you. You're, uh, thank you for your nice words. I appreciate you. Um, I love all of the Perseus and Crystal Ball emojis that the members have. You're amazing. Um, Master Jennifer, welcome. Debbie Lone Wolves, welcome. Cindy, welcome. Ripsalis? Ripsalis? Sorry if I butcher your name. I, I apologize for that too. Ptak, <laughs> welcome. The Therapeutic Loft, welcome. Um, thank you all for being here. Okay, um, so I think that this is number five 
of our sound healers in training. We've gone over the crystal singing bowls in our previous lessons. We've gone over the canary chimes, the koshi chimes, the Tibetan bowls, the tuning forks, and we've really deep dive into a lot of the instruments. So that if this is your first time, I recommend you jumping into those previous sessions and just catching up. Um, but I open this space to all of you to answer, to ask any question that you want. Anything on the in the spectrum of sound healing, I will do my best to answer for you. And I might not have an answer, but that's okay. Because I can find it out and I can have it prepped for you in the next session. Um, yeah, I, so... I also have a few questions for you all. I would love to know how many crystal bowl or sound bath practitioners are out there. Whether you use it in your practice of massage therapy or acupuncture or chiropractic or if you perform your own private sessions or group sessions. I would love to know how many of you are in this space that actually do this for a living or include it in your work. Um, and JJ, you asked a great question. Uh, where do I find the small set of crystal bowls? Um, so I think the cat's out of the bag now. And I think that I can share this. Um, it is difficult to find a really good crystal bowl company um you know lots of websites amazon they all have good bowls but the quality isn't always there which can be difficult um one of the one of the companies that i really enjoyed playing is minel sonic energy and um i've actually been in the works behind the scenes working hard and trying to find a the right company to work with me in designing my own personal brand of crystal singing bowls and they will be pitch perfect they will be the highest quality perfect frequency a frequency so clear that even a trained musician will know the frequency um, this is something down the line, but it's something that is, has been on my mind forever because I, I always want to recommend crystal singing bowls to people. That's, that's one of the number one questions that I get and I can't in good faith recommend anything because many of the bowls that I have personally are part of a discontinued set. And so, you know, why not? find the best, create the best, and offer you the best so that I can tell you where exactly you can find the best crystal singing bowl. Um, also, with that being said, there's a little QR code right down here at the bottom, and this will enter you to win my first crystal singing bowl giveaway. And this is for the 528 hertz crystal singing bowl um one of my favorite frequencies um it's a very high frequency and um if you're interested in wanting to win that it'll this enrollment will be all month so if you sign up for the course or if you sign up down here on the qr code you'll be entered to win and it will keep you in the loop and in tune with everything that i have going on with healing vibrations whether that be the course that I'm developing, which this is ultimately building out to, or my own brand of crystal singing bowls and all of these wonderful offerings that I've been wanting to give you all for so long. And it's all coming into fruition. So if you want to be in the loop for that and know exactly what's going on at all times, entering to win that crystal singing bowl is also going to get you access to that. Salus 
good question. How to determine if a sound healer knows what they are doing as opposed to someone who took one class and deemed themselves an expert. Um, I think the easiest way to see that is by experiencing. So one of the biggest reasons why I'm developing this course is because I have personally been to many sound baths and a few of them were so uncomfortable in the way that it was played, in the way that the transition of the instruments worked. And it was, it ended up being really overwhelming and really took away from the relaxation and the healing that can actually take place in a sound bath. So I think, you know, right off the bat, when you experience a, like a private session or a group session, um, you can kind of tell right away if that therapist knows what they're doing. And, you know, it's difficult to find out last minute, but you kind of just, you know, you're in it for the experience. So to drop your expectations and just kind of be in it for the time that you are and trust that you're at the place that you're supposed to be. Um, but there are a lot of practitioners out there that really, you know, there isn't much, uh, there's not really a system for education on the crystal singing bowls. And so people are just, you know, just jumping in and just winging it and cracking the bowls and creating ultimately really uncomfortable situations and sound baths that in the long run prevent people from ever coming back to it. And that is one of the main goals of my course is to prevent that from happening and to show people how to play, how to do transitions, you know, everything that you want to learn. That's why these courses that I'm doing right now are so important because I want to know what you want to know. What is it that you would like to learn about, about sound healing, about sound therapy, about hosting your own private sound bath? Um, there's all these different questions that people have and I have a lot of the answers and that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help share these, share the information with you. Um, let's see. And yeah, Lakeside Laura, you're right. You will feel if it's done correctly. It's, it, you could pretty much feel right off the bat. It's a, it's very easy to tell if in the experience that you're having, whether or not it's going to be pleasant or uncomfortable. Snow Dragon, yes, he is so comfortable. He's my little boy. Perseus, you do look so comfortable, you know that? He's my little snuggle bud. Such a sweet guy. Um, let's see. Mer family, thank you. Yeah, I will... I will have them. I will have the crystal singing bowls. Um, I think that I will mainly start with uh, individual bowls at specific sizes and then ultimately get a, a little bit further down the line, have entire sets that are put together. Um, I got cat hair in my nose. Are there some, okay, so Michelle King asks, are there some special sound healing baths in your YouTube posts that I can best use when giving massage therapy? Um, honestly, pretty much any of them work. Uh, for, for spa-like, if you're giving like a massage, um, my spa sound bath is really good because it has a very nice spa feel to it and has the running water in the background and a really nice, comfortable vibe. Um, but if you want to create experiences for your massages, one of my favorites is the rainforest, uh, the, the rainforest sound bath that I have. And it just takes you on a journey and transports you into a whole nother world, which I'm sure it would do for your clients as well. Okay. Mandy Moon, you didn't miss too much. Welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Um, yeah, so you'll see, ask, hi, Travis, how important is it for a sound healer to protect their healing? Asking for a heavy metal fan. Um, if, if the singing bowls are played properly, your hearing is going to be just fine. You can tell 
when it gets too loud. And if it feels overwhelming for you, you you're playing it too loud. Uh, the last sound bath that I went to, the person was playing them so loud that I wanted to cover my ears. It, it was it, I was just like clenching my body in discomfort because it was they were just ripping the bowl. And um, the key to playing a beautiful sound bath is to just be gentle, gently playing the bowls, gently transitioning them, and not you know spinning it so loud like I don't know if you can hear that but I, I I'm sorry I didn't warn you but that when I the faster you spin it the louder it gets and it's nice in some instances but you don't need to be playing that loud and your hearing will be just fine if you're playing them at a, a very comfortable rate So yes, Lakeside Laura, you, you read that it's better to buy a set so that they're in tune. This There is truth to that. Um, I think also finding perfect pitch bowls, which isn't you know ultimately talked about very much. As long as you're getting a really high, uh, a really high quality singing bowl with a perfect pitch, you can use them from any set as long as they're up to up to par. But that's very true that if you, I mean, Technically, this set that I have here is, it might be three different collections combined, and they play just great together. Um, I definitely notice a difference, though, when I have a really high quality bowl, the resonance will just go and go and go. Congratulations, Leanne. Looking forward to the course. Already purchased a set of bowls which have arrived. There is almost no better feeling than that feeling of having brand new bowls come in. And that smell, that new package smell is one of my favorites. So good. Actually, so Leanne, I've got a question for you. Are you are you planning on performing your own live sound baths with groups of people, or were you thinking of maybe having it just more for your own personal collection or for your own um, practice, whatever it is that you do? I'm curious. Those of you that have crystal singing bowls, what do you want to pursue with it? What is it that you would love to? What would you like to get out of it? Yes, Master Jennifer, that's, that is something, you know, to look for a set, but also scared of getting off-pitch ones. Um, it is hard to find a good quality set, and lots of the websites, they don't claim perfect pitch. They don't claim, like, they'll have 432 hertz and 440 hertz, and they actually don't even dive into what the actual frequency of the bowl is, and that is something that's very important to me, and sharing with that, because... You know, you need to know the frequencies to make sure that they're actually in tune. Um, so that's definitely something you need to look out for and actually knowing the frequency of the bowl that is, whatever the bowl that is that you're playing. And yes, Goddess Renee, absolutely. Goddess Renee says, I like the opposite of ripping the singing bowl gentle feels healing and highly absorbable that's absolutely true when you're when you're listening to gently gently played crystal singing bowls it actually accesses your nervous system it allows your body to feel safe enough to relax and let go of the tension that it's holding and 
if you are in an experience where that's not happening, you end up, you know, your cortisol levels go up because you're feeling stress, you know, your fight or flight is going and you're wanting to leave the experience and you actually end up closing yourself off to the healing that can actually take place. And the healing needs to come through gentle, soft, present playing. Leanne, that is perfect. You incorporating uh, incorporating crystal sing bowls or sound healing in general to a Reiki practice goes hand in hand. It's absolutely perfect, and that's I'm really happy that you're bringing that into your practice. And Mandy Moon, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your donation. <laughs> Send you a big hug. Let's go. <laughs> Yay, thank you. And then Vital Soul says, I would like to use them in my coaching practice and maybe create my own YouTube channel. Good for you. I also want to tap into childhood wound vibration frequency to help healing. That is, that's amazing. And that, the crystal singing bowls can absolutely help you to get there. Goddess for night, thank you so much. You get a big hug too. Get over here. <laughs> thank you so much, Goddess for night. Um, and Master Jennifer said, I'd love to do in person sound baths because I absolutely love healing vibrations. Thank you so much. <laughs> and the same when you played the violin long ago. Oh, that's great. You know, music is artistry, sound healing is artistry. I asked a question earlier in the week about whether you thought that, you know, a sound bath performer was an artist or a practitioner. Your an- your answers were amazing. And I-, I do believe it falls into both. You're a practitioner and you're an artist. Um, Lakeside Laura, that's... I'm happy to hear that you would love to perform healing sound baths. The more of us that are doing this... We're helping to make the world a better place. And knowing what steps to take into how to incorporate it into our lives and turn it into a living is, uh, it's, it can be a bit challenging to navigate. And, um, you know, I don't know what your, all of your relationship is with money and the whole exchange process of it. Um, but that's something that we can also talk about. Um, yeah, I don't know how you feel about it, but when I first became a practitioner, I felt bad. I felt bad charging for money. I I felt bad performing live and then, you know, asking people to help donate at the beginning. And there was a lot of discomfort and resistance in, you know, like I want to help people. I'm not trying to make profits out of it. And there was, you know, it it took me time to realize there's so much energy that goes into that exchange. There's, you know, everything in life is an energetic exchange. And to, you know, have set, you know, specific amount for a private one-on-one session, you know, you are bringing the tools, you're bringing the energy, you're giving this experience. And it's a beneficial, it's a beneficial experience for both. And it took me time to develop that, but I, I discovered, you know, like it's okay to charge a specific amount. So those of you who might be brand new in, in, um, you know, doing a, a live group session, something that works really well is having a sliding scale, um, where, you know, those that have the money to, to pay, they can, those that, that don't have the money don't have to and you know the universe tends to balance things out beautifully um but i think a fair amount would be you know anywhere from the range of 20 to it's really it really depends on what it takes for you to put it together it could range from 20 dollars per person to 50 dollars per person and you know if it's if you're lugging all of these crystal singing bowls and all these different instruments and then you gotta pay for the gas and you gotta drive to this experience and then you've gotta set it up so you get up you have to get there early Uh, it's a job and so finding what you feel is fair for that exchange 
is absolutely okay and it's justified and you can feel the value of the worth that you're bringing to the experience and not feel that shame that I might have experienced when I first began in asking for you know an amount that I feel is fair for the work that goes into it um yeah it also goes hand in hand with uh those of you who want to do private sessions um when I when I first began doing sound healing I would incorporate them into my massage practice and for you know an hour massage I would charge you know I think it was $75 and um, then I would have the option for all of my private clients if you wanted to you know add on uh, a, a sound healing session like I'd use the tuning forks and everything I would I would double it because there's there's so much more there's more energy that goes into that and you're doing double the work you're working on the etheric energetic body and you're also working on the nervous system and you're working on the tissue and it's a full holistic healing experience and to you know know that it's okay to charge a comfortable amount for you and what you feel is worth it Maya, welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you. Coach Karen, I am I'm grateful that you found my Tibetan bowls. The Tibetan bowls are such they're such a beautiful experience for me. I really love to bring both of them into I should have been on you. <laughs> I love to bring both of them into my sound bats. And actually just turning all my sound bats into multi-instrumental experiences. Um, oh, don't want to do that. Um, the Tibetan bowls complement the crystal singing bowls as well. And the canary chime. And actually there's an instrument that I haven't shown to you all before. And that is the tube heart. Name the tune. Name the tune. <laughs> what did I just play? <laughs> this thing is beautiful, and you can also use these in live sessions, and you can just kind of swing it around. And it creates this beautiful resonance of these high frequencies that just permeate the air. Absolutely beautiful. Just mix it together and create a nice little melody that everybody can enjoy. And the resonance is just, it lasts, and it goes, and it goes, and it is so beautiful. Amaya, I have been, I have been very good. Today was just filled to the brim, so it was a bit chaotic, and it was a little bit wound up earlier, just because there's a lot going on. But, um... I'm really good right now. I always feel so good in this space. Um, like I said, Laura, I do not have a crystal harp. That is absolutely on my list, and I, uh, I, I would love to have one one day. There's a, um, there's someone on TikTok who plays them with water, and it is so, so stunning and very inspiring and something that I would love to have in the future um, yeah and those of you who have just dropped in who are here now and new <laughs> to the space um, there's a Q QR <laughs> QR code yeah I got that right um, down below and that if you 
sign up there. It'll actually enter you to win a crystal singing bowl, a 528 crystal singing bowl that is mine personally. Um, very minimal wear and tear. It's I've had it for a while, but it's it's mint condition and it's from Lionel Sonic Energy and it's absolutely stunning. Um, and it also enters you to be a part of the Vibe Tribe mail list where you know you get full access to know everything that's happening with Healing Vibrations behind the scenes. You'll know about the course, when it's coming out, crystal singing bowls that I'll have to offer, and just everything, all things good that comes out of this space. You'll be the first to know. The link's right there in the chat. Yes, Michelle, I do play the tube harp during my chakra sound baths on Chakra Vibrations, I'm thinking that you're talking about. Um, yeah, so each one is, this one here is 528 hertz. And each one is also connected to one of the chakras, one of the, a different part of the body. And I include that in all of my chakra cleanse series. Um, those of you who aren't familiar, I do have a chakra channel that focuses on very specific chakra healing sound baths on youtube and it's called chakra vibrations um if you're into that very specific type of healing experience you definitely want to go check it out see so great question uh, what do the higher membership levels than the dollar 99 YouTube membership offer um, unfortunately right now they they don't offer anything extra um, they're just there if you want to support the channel and support my work because I just don't have the time to offer anything else um, because I'm running you know, technically four different YouTube channels and then putting together a course and putting together a singing bowl offering and there's just so much that I really can't offer more at the moment um, though on sleeping vibrations I just created a new offering over there um, those of you who just want crystal singing bowl music just pure crystal singing bowl music uh, for sleep if you become a member on sleeping vibrations you actually get access to ad free all of my content ad free and sometimes it comes out early um and you could get that for just $1.99 and up um because YouTube puts ads into my sound baths I'm throwing them under the bus they put ads in the middle of my sound baths all the time even though I have them turned off and it's it's a bit ruthless um it's a dog eat dog world out there and um yeah, so I've created this new offering so that YouTube can't jump in there and throw their ads, even if we don't give them consent to do so. So, yeah, that's one extra offering for the memberships. Yes, not all. <laughs> Just the new content. There's too big of a backlog to add all of my old stuff. So, But from this point on. We're, we're demoing it. We're testing it. So it might not be there forever. We're just seeing the way how it goes for now. Mm. I would love some water. Excuse me. Okay. Yes, Nikki B. Much love to that. Who, whoever gets that poll. Absolutely. I trust I trust it's gonna find a very good home and someone that's gonna love it dearly and I'm really excited to open these doors and do more offerings and more giveaways and um, just get back to the community as much as I can I've got a bunch of crystal singing bowls so it's time to start excuse me Thank you, Coach Karen. 
Coach Karen says, so excited you're putting together a workshop. If I can do this along with my hypnosis, I feel I will have a more engaging experience with my clients. Absolutely. It's just a completely different emphasis of energy. Abs you're absolutely right about that. Uh, sound is everything. Everything is in a constant state of motion, infinitely moving through time and space. And if you can play the right frequency, the right vibration at the right moment with the right mindset, you can create the most profound transformations within the psyche and within the body. Um, so yeah, there's, it, it's so great to bring those together. And um, that's why I'm doing these courses is I am... I want to know, I said this earlier, but I want to know what you want to know. What is it that you would love to learn in a course? If you were to sign up for a course and you're only doing it to learn this specific thing, what would that be? Feel free to drop it in the chat. What is it that you want to learn the most about sound bath, about sound healing, about crystal bowls, about Tibetan bowls? Um, putting this course together it's going to have it's going to be very very in depth so in this kind of sense we're just talking and you know going back and forth and I'm sharing little bits here and there but my course will be very detailed and very structured so that you will know exactly what you're looking for where to find it where to find the information um we're connecting some really cool stuff to the course also, which is very exciting. You know, technology is advancing more and more and more, and um, you got to change with it. Um, oh, and someone, someone just became a member. I, I missed the last, I missed the last member. Um, but Leanne Northwood, thank you so much. Oh, it was Reiki, something Reiki. Thank you. Thank you both so much for becoming a member of my channel. It means so much to me. And I'm giving you both a big, huge air hug. Get on over here. Um, every bit of your contributions makes such a big difference. You know, my, <laughs> to be totally honest and transparent, my channel is, it's, it's, it's falling pretty hard and it's, it's been really tough. Um, to experience so every little bit of help that you all um, shine into my life uh, yeah joy or reiki that thank you um, it means a lot it it goes such a long way and you help keep me alive and you help keep healing vibrations going because you know youtube will send us up and then it'll send us right back into the dirt <laughs> and we start panicking and say oh <laughs> what are we gonna do it's okay, that's life. It's filled with ups and downs. <laughs> God, it's your name. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Christopher Phillip used my videos to help sleep, but also to go into that space in between sleep and awake to get messages. I love that. I love to hear that so much, and I, I have to say I do the same thing. So I am so grateful that my music can help do that for you and be there for you however you need it, whenever you need it. And school sucks. <laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> thank you so much for your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, big hug. <laughs> Get on over here. Let's go. I hope you felt that. Um, and yeah, those of you who have just become members, uh, you do have, you do get what I can offer is a beautiful little archive of little emojis of my baby boy over here, a little baby Perseus, and my crystal singing bowls, and a couple of me. So they're really cute emojis, and I absolutely love them. Um, <laughs> yeah, drop the emojis, let's go. And you also get priority comments on my channel. So whatever you are commenting on my channel, those I get so many comments every day that I can only answer so many. So if you want instant access to my response, you will get that through that membership that you just signed up for. So thank you so much. 
Um, oh, I missed I missed a comment about the tuning forks. If you want to drop that comment again, I will try to answer it. Um, okay. Uh, yes, Murph family says I'm looking forward to this sound healing certificate focused on some mini instruments and just a small part on the crystal crystal balls. Okay. So it's been a trial and error, which makes me appreciate all you offer. That's great. So that's that's the beautiful thing about the having a course is we get to dive into all things. If you really want to learn about the crystal singing bowls, there's going to be a huge little, a huge little section. There's going to be a nice section for the crystal singing bowls. And then there's also going to be a section for the other instruments, depending on if that's what you all want to learn. There is this curriculum hasn't been fully defined and I have a very good idea of how I want it to go and I've created a whole entire system for it but I really want to offer what it is that you want you all want to learn and um, go from there uh, okay Wolfie new uh, yeah Wolfie new thank you for being a member um, asking about weighted tuning forks in the course yes so it might not be in my first course. Well, I'm sure we'll touch on it in my first course, but the tuning fork is such an in-depth. There's so much to teach about them and so much for me to offer with them and all the different tuning forks, how to use them, that um, it could have its own course of its own. It, but we'll definitely touch up on it. Absolutely. And yes, Tina Fernandez, my set is 432. They're based off the 432 hertz scale, which that one right there is 432. And the rest are, they're sequenced just far enough away to, uh, yeah, follow that set. And you'll see, thank you so much. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Get on over here. You get a big old hug too. Let's go. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for your support. Oh, let's see what else we got. Maya, we missed you too. We're always here. We're always here. We'll be here every Tuesday. At least for the rest of this month. And then the course will be going live in May. And we'll be live more then too. And Jubal V, yes, our membership's separate for each channel. Which channel needs the most support? Um, they all need the most support right now. Um, <laughs> they're all taking a nice little free fall together. <laughs> but um, Healing Vibrations is, is what really counts. Healing Vibrations is my baby. And it's you know, my pride and joy and my love. And it's, that's the place that I would probably need the most help. Um, Nikki B says, how many bulls do you need to make a really good sound bath? Great question. You only need one. No, <laughs> one is great. Um, one, I just want to drop down and uh, school sucks. Thank you so much for that donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel your love and I appreciate you and all the support you've been giving me this session. So get on over, you get another big old hug. Let's go. <laughs> um, so I would say like a real, so if you're giving a sound bath to a group, three. Three bowls, anything more than three is going to give you a variety of different music to play. And I highly recommend the C note, the E note, and the G note. That's a perfect fifth. And what that is, is it's a musical, it's a musical combination that no matter how you play them, no matter how you play it, it sounds beautiful. You could play these two bowls together. You could play these three bowls together. There's no dissonance. They're spaced away by full note. Each one's spaced by a full note, which gives them the space to prevent that dissonance from happening. You could play these two together these, you can play these, you can play these, you can come back to these, it doesn't matter how you play them, it's always going to sound beautiful, and 
and those are connected to through the root, the solar plexus, and the throat chakra. We got floating hairs all over the place. Um, Amaya, I send you my love for that back pain you're going through. I'm sorry that this is just a continuous thing that keeps coming into your life, and I just wish so badly that you could get through this pain and whatever discomfort you're having, and I send you my love to get through it. Um, yes, Leanne Northwood asks, uh, or says, I would be interested in learning the gong. Is it possible that it could be in the course? Absolutely. The gong is essential. It is one of the most essential pieces to a sound bath, and ultimately all of the instruments need to be in the course because I'm here to show you how to give a sound bath. To not only play it just for yourself, but also to play it for others. And the gong is the most grounding, earthing vibration of all the instruments that I use. Um, the hand drum matches that same low frequency as the gong in my opinion and really creates a deep bass and a deep grounding foundation and so i loved when i was doing the lives or uh, going in person and doing live group sessions to use that gong at the beginning because it's so deep and the way that it resonates through you and through the the room it almost instantaneously instantaneously causes that <sighs> Whoa, that vibration just <laughs> swept through my cells, swept through my bones, swept through my tissue, and almost instantly puts you in that deep state of relaxation. Snow Dragon asks, are we going to get singing bowl plushies? <gasps> That's a great idea. <laughs> That's a great idea. Great idea. Drew, if you're listening, <laughs> throw that in the notes. <laughs> Snow Dragon, because that was your idea, if I ever do it, you get a free one. <laughs> I love that idea, though. Uh, um. Yes, radiate higher, I can play the F note, and that is connected to the, the heart right here for you. Um, Mandy Moon, thank you so much. She says, your channel... Slash channel should never die. Thank you. I don't ever want them to. I've never seen such a genuinely kind YouTuber with all the amazing community. Thank you so much. That means so much to me. Your words have resonated into my heart and I feel it. And thank you for all of your support. I recognize you. You've been following and supporting my channel for so long. And I just want to give you a big old hug. Oh, the gong woke up Perseus. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. But here comes your big hug. Thank you so much. Um... You know, I'm, I trust, I trust the flow of all things, divine timing in all things. And even when, you know, life, when you feel like you just keep going down, you just keep at it because there's a chance that it'll have a nice little turn up and it will go right back up because life is like a roller coaster. Just like us, we experience ups and downs all over the place. <laughs> Coach Karen, and you get a plushie, you get a plushie, <laughs> everybody gets a plushie. <laughs> Jamal White, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support, my friend. Thank you for becoming a member. You get a big, huge virtual hug, too. Get on over here. Let's go. <laughs> thank you for your support. And we got Anthony. Anthony Lavazon, you are a legend of legends. Sorry, Percy, I didn't mean to ignore you. Come on back over. You know Percy as well. Uh, Anthony, thank you so much for your support, my brother. Big, huge hug for you. Let's go. Um, yes. Uh, <laughs> Maybe Perseus needs his own channel or OF. It's cute. Hey, we keep it G-rated over here. <laughs> um, but <laughs> I'm not going to lie. We've talked about creating a channel for Perseus and that might come out in the future. Everybody in the Vibe Tribe email list will be the first to know everything that happens. So if you haven't signed up for the Vibe Tribe email list, I highly recommend you do that. Be in tune and in the loop with everything. <laughs> what do you think this is? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, you silly boy? <laughs> he wants out, so he's like, 
He's like, I'm gonna climb in that ball. <laughs> you are so funny. You are so funny. Come here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this guy. I love you, buddy. You wanna jump on over here? Come on. Come on. Yeah. Jump on over here. You doing good? You have a good nap? You have a good nap? Okay. Sorry, I got a little distracted. Um, yes. Perseus is Healing Channel on the way. Um, and Radiate Higher, you're very welcome. I love that heart bowl too. Um, when I'm in a really sensitive place and you know my emotions are a bit more tender than than usual, um, I can play a sequence of bowls. And then once I hit that F note, that can put me in tears. It the F note hits my heart every time and it's like a tug and it's always a closer of sequence notes for me in my sound baths um Carly Vet says I'm literally in tears right now because I listen to you daily and sleep to your sounds every night you have helped me so much to regulate my monkey mind and nervous system thank you so much Carla White thank you or sorry Carly Vet. thank you I, I'm honored that my music can be here for you. I'm honored that my music can help you sleep and quiet that monkey mind. And I'm grateful that you like my voice. Thank you for all of your support and your loving words. Um, what time is it? Ooh, time has flown every time. Every time I come in here, it's just like, bloop. Well, technically, that's kind of how my day is every day. It's just like, beep, just, just blinking blinking by and um yeah i would if there's any other questions we're running a little bit low on time but if you have any questions that you want to ask me or anything else you'd like to add about um you know questions that you have for your own practice or questions you have about how to play or what you something else you'd like to throw in um as a request of what you'd like me to include in my course Go ahead and fill it into the the, the messages, and um, I might not be able to re catch all of it right now, but I will go through all of this message thread later tomorrow and see everything I missed and what you all have talked about that I might have skipped by. Wow, thank you for being here. I'm grateful that you like this interactive live session. Um, we've got we've got about three more three more um, live streams throughout April um, that we will be going over more. You know, we kind of just been talking. Um, I've been sharing, you know, just little bits and pieces, but if you want, if you want to, you know, if there's anything you want to learn in the next course or in the next class that I give next week, feel free to drop it in the comments or add it to the chat. Um, and whatever you liked about the sound math, we can focus more on next time and just make it, you know informative and worth your while to come join us and be a part of this vibe tribe experience and you know when we correct our vibration and we live a, in a space of authenticity and being genuine we inspire each other and we have to lead by example and doing that allows us to make a huge difference in this world kindness ripples into kindness and when you have a beautiful experience and you feel good you go and you share beautiful experiences with others and the next time you know somebody comes up to you and is in a bad mood and yells at you about this or gets angry at you about this you can see it from a space of understanding and realize you know hurt people hurt people and hold space for them and say something nice to them instead someone says something very rude to you give them a sweet compliment make them feel good um, 
always easier said than done of course you know you never know the moment i can't say i'm perfect sometimes i want to go like grab my shirt <laughs> Plushie of Perseus. Perse would you like would you like a plushie of yourself? I think we could definitely do that too. That would be so great to have plushies of crystal singing bowls and plushies of little baby Perseus there. I love these ideas. I love them. You be well too, Carla. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um Yes, Nikki B. You know, divine timing and all things. They'll come to you when the moment is right. When the moment is right, they will appear and they will be there with you. Um, yes, as you see there in the in the thread, uh, I am giving away my first crystal singing bowl. So if you want to be entered to win a 528 hertz quartz crystal singing bowl, it's eight inches, absolutely stunning bowl. It's actually from Minel Sonic Energy, so it's it's as good as, as a bowl gets. Um, they're usually the company re that I recommend. Um, if you want to, if you want to enter to win that crystal singing bowl, you won't get spammed and you, you can see it right there on the, in the chat, there's a link. So, you know, no purchase necessary. about low on time i'm gonna start saying my sweet farewells to each of you and um just thank you all for being here in this experience and a part of this live journey and you are at the first stages of something that i've envisioned for so long and have finally had the courage to get through my fears and to actually offer what it is that i know and you know there's Many of us experience the imposter syndrome. I'm not, I'm not alone in this, but I definitely have. And, you know, I have learned that I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, I should after all these years, but I want to share this knowledge that I have with you. And if you want to learn from me, I'm here to teach you and I would love to be your guide. And I just know that this is what I'm here to do. And this is the next stage of this beautiful journey. And I'm happy to be here with all of you in this amazing vibe tribe. I love that we're this vibe tribe and this loving community. One comment that we always get is people saying, I'm so amazed by how much love is, is, are in these comments. And, you know, you can go to many sound, you can go to many different, uh, um, uh, oh, I missed a good comment. I'm sorry. Um, that you can go to many different YouTube channels and go through the, the comments and there's lots of crazy stuff going on. I don't want to label it crazy, but there's a lot of, you know, dissonance in the space. And when you come to Healing Vibrations, there's, there's accountability. <laughs> I'm going to read your comment. <laughs> and so there's so much love in this space and it feels so good to have this space and this is something I've always dreamed of and I love sharing it with you all and I just just know that I know so many of you now there's so many of you that I see in the comments and I'll give you that heart you know I I can't answer all of your comments because I know some of you like to comment a lot and uh, I so deeply appreciate that but I'm like I've got so many to get to so if I just give you heart, just know that I read your message and I'm answering you with my heart. Um, but yes, thank you all for being here tonight. We'll be here again next Tuesday, 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Stand, uh, Pacific Daytime. I heard uh, PSD is something that's gone and I've been using that for like five years. So uh, PSD uh, or PDS. <laughs> I don't know. It's <laughs> 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time is what I'm going to say. Um, so yes, so thank you for being here, Nikki B. Thank you, Amaya. Thank you, Lakeside Laura, again, for being such an amazing moderator. If we can all send Lakeside Laura some love for supporting and holding space the way they do. Murph family, thank you so much for you. Carla, 
thank you for all of your kind words this evening. Pepper Tree, thank you. Coach Karen, thank you. Uh, Samantha Cunningham, um, I'm honored that my music can inspire you in my channel. And thank you so much for your kind words. <laughs> Jojo, he did say that. <laughs> Purse, we're going to get up. we got to go downstairs, silly. Um, good night to you. Um, good night, Slow dr Snow Dragon. Good night, you'll see. Good night, Mandy Moon. Oh, thank you, Chow. Thank you so much. Um, yes, holding space, Chow. Yes, I'm happy I can help inspire. Holding space and love to those that need it. Everybody needs it. And those that hurt others and are so mean, they need it more than everybody. Everybody needs it, though. Um, so, yeah, thank you also, Cindy. Thank you. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you, Joya. And with that, I thank you all with every beat of my heart. Thank you for being here, supporting my work. Thank you for being a part of this channel. Um, don't forget to sign up to that Vibe Tribe email list. I'm sure many of you already have. And you'll be in the loop with everything that's happening with Healing Vibrations. And don't forget to enter to win your first Crystal Singing Bowl from me personally, which is so exciting. Um, thank you all. Have a wonderful week, a wonderful evening, a wonderful morning, a wonderful day. Oops, sorry. I just kicked the microphone. I apologize about that. Um, and yeah, thanks for being here, everybody.